Hello, I'm John Bachman. And I'm Monica Pearson. One of our crews captured part of the chase as police raced by near Georgia State University. Officers eventually cornered their man near Piedmont Hospital on Peachtree Road in Buckhead. Channel 2's Richard Elliott spoke exclusively with the suspect and found out why he did not stop. Richard. Monica, that chase ended right here, right in front of Piedmont Hospital. Now, we were on our way to a different story this afternoon when we got word from our assignment desk that a high-speed chase was headed in our direction, and just seconds later, it came roaring by our truck. When I heard the sirens, I grabbed my iPhone and started shooting this video of the high-speed chase in progress. One witness counted as many as 27 patrol cars whizzing by. Minutes later, we got to the scene and found out it all started on Langford Parkway when an Atlanta police car automatic tag reader spotted the Chevy Impala and flagged it as stolen. So police gave pursuit and chased the driver, Paul Elmore, to Buckhead. And after they put him in the back of the patrol car, I asked him about what happened and why he didn't stop. I don't have no license. You only ran because you had no license? Yeah, and I had to pick up my daughter from school. Troopers say Elmore did finally stop the car right in front of Piedmont Hospital. They say it rolled forward and dented one of their cruisers as it moved to block it in. Elmore did have a passenger, and police detained her briefly, but then let her go without any charges. Witnesses say it was the craziest thing they've ever seen. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, so many people could have gotten hurt. You only ran because you didn't have a license. And, yeah, my, and, and, and she got BP'd up for school. Did you think you put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy driving through Midtown like that? Now, Paul Elmore did not have an answer for that question. Luckily, no one was hurt in all of this. Now, I did speak with a state trooper just a little while ago. He told me a lot more about the chase and about the charges Elmore is facing. We're working on that right now. We'll bring it to you coming up at 5. We're live in Buckhead. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. Thank